It's a sunny day and welcome to Hessleholm and a new episode of Piggins Program. And as Chris just mentioned, we are in Hessleholm in a recently new started club and it started by my close friend Max Nilsson and as you may see by the surroundings, it doesn't really look like a table tennis hall or table tennis area, but I will I can guarantee you guys that you will be impressed by what's inside of these locations. Uh, hey guys, my name is Martin. I'm 27 years old. I've been playing table tennis for the last 15 years. I've started in England, uh, more specifically in Portsmouth. Then I moved on to play in uh, Nottingham and then Sweden, where I played full time in uh, Sherping. And now I play in uh, AF Kolund. And uh, as Leo said, we are in Hessleholm and we are in Max Nilsson's uh, club. We are very happy to be there. Uh, and this episode will be regarding how to play against left-handed. And now I'm curious about Leo and Martina's perspective on this topic. To begin with, playing a left-handed player, it differs a lot. Uh, in comparison with a right-handed player because most often playing against a right-handed player I get to serve in my backhand from, the, from their backhand side. Uh, playing a left-handed player I get to serve more often from their backhand which naturally would be against a forehand of a right-handed player and uh, then the serve often comes in this area. And when I'm used to getting the serve in most often this area from that side it may differ and the spin differs. So basically what I am trying to do when I'm playing a left-handed player is to make a great variation in the receives. Sometimes it can be hard to go in with forehand if you're not distinct and you really know what to do. So an easy, op an easy option is to actually play with your backhand from this side. The problem with this might be that if, for instance, Martina serves in my forehand and I will go with my short pimples playing from the foreign side with my backhand, it leaves this space open. So if I don't make a great receive, Martinez will have it very easy to play down the line here or in my pocket, which will be very hard for me. Basically, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to do the good receives with my forehand, and if he has a great serve and it's hard, I will try to do it with my backhand, because it will fall naturally with the spin in the serve, and then I try to vary the placement of the receive and vary the spin and vary the pace. What happens most of the times in the game of table tennis is that I face right-handed players. So majority of the times I know what to do when I play right-handed players. But when I play left-handed players it's a completely different game because the angles are different and the spins are very different. So I have to play different tactics. Uh, majority of the times I would be maybe serving a cross court with a pendulum serve and I, I would be receiving very different shots uh, from a right-handed player because they, they have the ability to come across the ball in different ways. What I would do is uh, mostly recover to mo more of my backhand position against the right-handed player and against the left-handed player I guess I would try to do maybe the same just uh, have different kind of awareness that they can play different shots against me. The position and when they receive the serve is a little bit can be a little bit different if you play against the left-handed when the left lefty and righty will play each other you know for normally when you play against if I'm right-handed and I play against the right-handed I standing in the middle of the backhand but when I playing a lefty I will standing a little bit more in the middle when I receive that's because I want to cover the angles as you can see when they serve they serve a side spin, half, long or short to the forehand side. A serve who is often really uh, common when you play against their lefty. They take backhand from the forehand corner so they can play down to the lefty's forehand. Because when they play forehand it's hard to play to the lefty's forehand. If I'm standing in the middle, 
to protect the angles, I have to be aware of the long serve to my backhand. A good uh, basic tactic Ooh. against lefties uh, could be serve short to the forehand with side spin or long to the backhand with, for example, scoop serve. So basically what happened was that I was guarding uh, the short in forehand with this stance going in here, which made me vulnerable here in backhand. So as you saw, I, was, I went in for the short here, Martinez placed it here, and I had no chance of receiving the serve. Lastly, if you are a backhand oriented player as I am, as I mentioned, you won't get the same serve and you won't get the same game pattern as against a right-handed right player. Because I want to get in the back and corner like this, pushing with my short pimples, like this punching, but I won't get the same uh, game plan against a left-handed player. So you have to keep this in mind. Uh, to maintain your playing style, you may have to vary it a little bit and play more straightforward against a left-handed player. And the last advice, in table tennis it's always important to play straight and to the pocket. When you play a lefty, it's even more important to play straight or to the pocket. This was uh, Ashuso Storm Coffee, Lura. Yes, and uh, this coffee was actually bought and sponsored to us by my friend or our friend Max Nilsson from Hesterholms Bull Tennis Club in which hall we're actually today making the videos. And he donated this cup of coffee to us by the website Buy Us A Coffee which is a perfect way if you want to sponsor us with our work because every week we are trying to publish videos regarding table tennis for free worldwide and we would never expect any compensation at all but if you want to sponsor our work and keep our channel rolling and want to see table tennis videos every week feel free to leave a small donation in the link linked in description so guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next week and don't forget your coffee, link down in the description.